ladies and gentlemen, members and friends, Distillery 53 is known by society nerds because we love Isla Whiskey. We love sharing Isla Whiskey, we love tasting Isla Whiskey, we love bottling it for our members. Um, let's pour a drop of this one out. But you'll notice something a bit different about this one. Distillery 53, but it's cask 4. Dot, sorry, 440. Let me get that right. Society cask 53.440. That's 440 casks in 40 years of this distillery. Now, most often when we see distillery 53, we see lightly peated, we see peated, we see heavily peated. That makes sense because they produce predominantly peated whiskey at this powerhouse distillery, the biggest distillery in Isla. Uh, and I was about to name them, I was about to say the number of distilleries that are in Isla, but that number keeps moving around a lot at the moment. I think it's right now, I think it's 10, nine or 10 operational uh, and soon to be 13 all up though. Uh, but anyway, the reason why I want to particularly touch on this whiskey, one, I think this is going to vanish from outturn. This is not a sleeper because it's a sherried, deep, rich and dried fruit, 53. And it's well priced as well. 12 years of maturation, distilled 1st of June, 2010. <sighs> this is a whiskey that stops time and requires a bit of contemplation. We might need to pause this video and start again because no, no, let, let's press on. No, no, but this, this is this is the thing. This is one of these whiskies where, like, it's it's this is a whiskey that sort of changes time, all this time and perception as we know it. There's so much. There's, there's lovely old leather. There's like oil jars, like saddle leather and saddle oil. It's definitely a peated whiskey somewhere under that surface of all that lovely sherry. It's peated, but not, um... Oh, oh. Yeah, there's, lovely, there's a lovely sort of like sponge cakiness to it. Like brown sugar drizzle. I just can't get over that lovely sort of leather saddle note. Let's have a taste. The integration of the sherry is obvious. It's so well works so well with that peated whiskey. This is sweet peat. This is a, a, the sweetness is first and foremost, but on the palate, it's the peat first and foremost. That's a that's a whiskey of two tails, and at cast strength, you're basically getting almost two bottles for the price of one. Fifty-seven point two percent ABV. But this is a really important point for this video. What I want to make the point I want to make about this particular release is that we don't assigned flavor profiles determined by code or cask or age or distillery or anything else. Flavor profiles are determined entirely by flavor. This was determined by the expert tasting panel as deep, rich and dried fruits. That's what it should be in then. It doesn't matter what the code is or what the region is or anything like that. It just goes to show that different codes often operate in different in different flavor profiles, and that keeps it exciting and keeps just, keeps the flavor journey going of what a 53 in deep rich and dried fruits could taste like. That's not a sleeper. That's gonna be very popular in our turn, so um, best of luck for those hunting it down. We didn't get a whole lot of them. We got 42 something bottles of this one. Friday out turn is of course the first Friday of each month. In this case, it's the 1st of March at midday, Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Anyway. We still got daylight savings by March, so yeah, that's fine. I think, when does it end? April? May? Anyway. Slangeva, cheers. Uh, be merry and drink responsibly. Be, see you soon. Bye.